Good day traders. Today we're going to be talking about using the daily charts, the three things that markets do, and the weekly template. Before we get started, if everybody could take one second and just hit the like button for me. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. And if you want to share this video with somebody, feel free to do so. Thanks for doing that. I appreciate all the, the positive feedback and all the questions and comments. Let's get started. Now it's important to understand uh, we're going to be looking at some very simple concepts. I'm going to, I'm going to reinforce my theory, my approach, uh, my understanding in that I'm looking to capitalize on easy trade setups, meaning that the markets are about to burst either to hit stops or reversing from the high of the day, low of the day, or breaking out in a trend trade. So there are three things that markets do. There are only three things that markets do. They break out and they trend. They break out and reverse, false break reversal, it could be a stop hunt reversal, and they'll trade to the other side. Or we could be in a trading range, just a high low trading range where the market moves from one side to the other back and forth. So these are the only three things that markets do. And when you understand that and you apply that, my approach as I emphasize over and over again is to be working from the high and the low of the day. And we're going to look at some simple concepts today to reinforce that understanding that if you're inside and the timings of those trades and those opportunities, emphasizing again trying to be there for one hour or less. Uh, in some cases there may be more opportunities, but I'm looking for the explosive fast moves to capitalize when the market is blowing off or bursting through a level to hit stops, to break out, uh, or to reverse taking a position at the higher low on a reversal trade in line with an existing trend. So I talked about uh, major news, how major news, there are different opportunities in terms of news catalyst trade. So you may be in an existing trade and the news will uh, be a catalyst to complete a move hitting a profit target. I don't get in front of the news. We will also see opportunities for a entry into a news event on a first bounce or a, or a continuation trade. Uh, we have talked about the three-day setups. We're going to be talking about that today, understanding the, the, the weekly template, the three-day cycle, and understanding the importance of studying the, the previous day's highs and lows in terms of who's getting caught in the markets on false breaks or breakouts, who's who's caught or who's trapped in the market. And there was a great example of this on gold. Uh, Thursday, Friday, we had first red day Thursday. And a move down on Friday, uh, Wednesday's bulls were trapped in up high. We've had a, a big move, but we'll look at that in a second. And then the timings, the importance of the timing window and understanding that Although the markets can be moving, if you're inside, you may be getting caught into a consolidation area before the market bursts. Uh, so it's important to be on the right side of that, especially with gold. Gold can be uh, fairly aggressive, but also looking at other markets, uh, even on the, the major pairs, the importance of understanding the, the weekly template because you can be trading one pair all the time expecting it to move, and some of these pairs may only have... Uh, you know, a weekly range, 50 to 75 pips back and forth before they make an explosive move. So first hour, pre-market opportunities and uh, again, developing a thesis each session. So just coming back to some basic concepts, we'll look at this in a second. And some of the simple things we talked about last day, protecting your psychological and financial capital, the most critical thing you can do. Uh, and that's why I stick to, I have peeled my trade setups back to very, very high probability setups that I can position myself into on the way to taking out stops or to breaking levels, triggering breakouts, explosive moves right in the session timings because there's very little stress in these trades and they are scalable in size. I want to be done in an hour and walk away. Uh, these markets move all over the place, but also understanding that once they establish their high and low 
and they pull it back inside, that consolidation now can be trapping you into a very dangerous environment pre, uh, prior to heading into the next session. So again, emphasizing the timings, the high and the low of the day, the major round numbers, engulfments, pin hammers. Now, I, I keep getting this question over and over again, where do you get in? I get in at the high or the low of the day once it's locked in. And we'll look at some very specific examples of this. Like that's pretty pretty crystal, crystal clear. So we're going to look at the understanding as the week unfolds. Now, if once I'm entering into the market, if I'm entering into the market in a move that's already on its way and I'm not at the high or the low because it's locked in maybe from the previous session and we've done a stop on it's still a one bar stop now depending on the, the pair that you're trading on most of the major pairs 15 minute chart you're probably looking at 10 to 15 pips max occasionally you might get some more volatility but still once that trade if it's going to be moving in the direction of your trade there should be very little heat on to your position and gold again uh, these trades move very quickly so there should not be, you know, virtually zero heat. If I get heat on the trade and I know that I'm wrong, I will close these trades out very quickly. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. People have asked me to keep the videos uh, shorter, so I'll do that. The horizontal lines, sorry, the vertical lines represent our Friday week weekly separators. And again, there's three-day cycles. Uh, the, the cycle may start on a Friday. It could start on a Monday. Uh, but the easiest way to look at this, I talk about the previous day's high and low. And I know people are using TradingView and everything else. I use MT4. I know people don't like it. That's what I use. It's pretty straightforward. doesn't matter. A chart's a chart. We look at the highs and lows. Now, this pink line is our Monday, beginning of Monday. And again, I talk about the three things that markets do. They break out. They pull back and they trend, they break out and they reverse, and they stay in the trading range. So when the week starts, we have your Friday, your, your previous week's high and low, whatever that may be. But when a, when a level is broken, a previous day's high-low level is broken, we now have traders triggered into a breakout market. Now, Monday can be the beginning of setting the new range for the week. And then the question I keep coming back to is that if we're inside of a previous week's high and low, that means that we're looking again at the question of who's in the money. So an existing profitable trade where somebody is potentially shorted the market or been long, depending on the setup, this could be, this is, I'm looking at the one hour chart, but this is purely to see the levels. So people talk about using the four-hour trend, the one-hour trend, the 15-minute trend, the five-minute trend, da-da-da-da-da. I am looking for the level only. When I am trading these markets, I am using the one-minute chart once I have my thesis in place. So the thesis being, if I come to a session and, I'm, and, I, and I have a previous day's high, and I'm looking at that as a stop hunt, a stop hunt or a breakout trade, again, then I want to be looking at where am I at in relation to the most recent level high or low? So although this is the previous day's high, I have the the, the lower high from Thursday uh, as the area where traders have shorted this market. If I was to take a trade coming back out of the market, out of that consolidation inside, so this is the high, this is the low, we're inside. The market came sideways, triggered the low, and then engulfed. So if we come back to, to this three things that markets do, they break out and they pull back and reverse. We have our false break reversal. If it comes back inside and it's trading back to the other side, we have an opportunity potentially if traders are going to be trading this inside, they want to be trading this back in the direction to the other side. I'm not interested in being in here. Now, if I come to a session, beginning of a session, and I'm inside, this is a lower probability opportunity. Now, again, I'm talking about being in that first or second hour. But if I was to trade this, this would be my target. So if that was the case, because we've already locked in our low, they've hit the stops, they've triggered breakout traders, they've pulled back inside and gone into consolidation, I would be looking for a buy low setup. 
if I'm trading this in Asia the next day, I know that once I get to this high, if I'm in this trade on the way out, this is an area where this market could fail. On the counter side, when we come back into the London session now, we have volume caught up high on top of the previous day's high where the market may offer us an opportunity. Again, this is the levels, the high and low levels, not the time frame. I'm using this to establish levels. You can use the 15 minute chart, it doesn't matter. I am looking to be trading if the opportunity presents near the highs or near the lows at the session timings. We come into our new day, we have the same situation. We have a high of the day, we have a low of the day. The market trades, we're inside. So again, if I'm inside, I'm not looking for this. I'm looking for something either giving me the vertical move into the session open. Now, I'm using the one minute charts when I'm taking these trades. So people have said, where do you get in? The timing window is what's critical. So if you're not inside, if the trade opportunity does not present inside, once they break out, guess what time it is? I'm into the London session. We have half an hour at the high. Now again on our one minute, we'll be, we'd be looking for the trade opportunity for a sell high setup. So just purely coming back to this understanding of the three things that markets do in the weekly template. Now we opened up inside of the previous week. We broke the high of Friday. We traded sideways. This is the new high and low for the current week. The market then breaks through the level, pulls back, retests, and pulls back inside. So again, three things that markets do. They break out and they trend they break out and they reverse, or they are in the trading range. So we have also now a range expansion for the week. We, we've talked about the initial balance. We have a high low for Monday, Tuesday. Monday's high, Tuesday's low. The market comes down to the low of the week. Now again, these are this is a one hour chart purely to give us our levels. When the timing window kicks in, I would have an alert set at the higher the low, this is a one hour bar, so there could be 15 minutes, half an hour, if that alarm is triggered for me to come to the screen to see if there's an opportunity at the low or at the high. The market comes down to the low, reverses and goes right back to the high, pulls back inside. We head into our next in gap time in the session into the US window and it continues to break higher. Day one, day two, day three. Day three now triggers the high of the, the previous day, breaks higher before pulling back inside. We have a break in structure. We have a higher high and we have a higher low, but we also have the low of the current day taken out and then a retest of the high that now on Friday fails inside, takes out the current high of the day and gives us a bear pin hammer at the end of the first hour of the Europe 12 candle window. So again, I'm painting the picture of using the weekly template. You'll notice we were moved up higher on Wednesday and we had volume trapped up high. We have a follow through that fails at the high of the day on Friday for a explosive 100 pip move down in towards the low of the week. Doesn't quite get there, but it hits the stops on all the traders that were long from the gap time into the US session from Wednesday onwards. So again, day one, day two, day three, up high, we get a break in structure, they pull it back into the high, Failed follow through, bear pin hammer, our M formation at the high of the week, trap volume up high. Now this is a great example of, again, a three day setup, uh, day four breaking structure, and then Friday reversal coming back for a 100 pip explosive move. So we get all this four days to set this up, but this is a three hour trade, four hour trade, boom for 100 plus pips. If we look at uh, West Texas crude oil, again, we break out on the Monday. So a pink line, we break the Friday low on the Monday. 
They pull back inside of Friday's low into the close. The market breaks Monday's high on Tuesday before pulling back inside. So again, Monday's high, Friday's low, broke uh, breakout pullback. We have Monday's low now at, with a lower low, lower high on Tuesday. The market comes down to Tuesday's low, breaks structure, and rolls over into the U.S. session, breaking out. That market breaks out and then pulls back, and we talked about this in the previous video uh, a couple weeks ago, how this can become a flip zone now inside where they pull back and on Friday that market drops 300 pips down. So again, a three-day setup, breakout, pullback, continuation down. Now I'm liking uh, the possibilities on gold. The same scenario, we had a big move up for uh, the last few weeks. The market moved higher uh, on a previous Wednesday on news, stayed inside of that high-low, Thursday, Friday before breaking higher on the Monday. Okay, so we triggered the breakout traders, but it pulled back inside, getting people to short this creeper up. They hit the stops before consolidating at the high of the week in the London session, heading into the US, engulfing and breaking structure. So again, breaking structure, we took out all those higher lows. And this is a great example of this three-day setup, a creeping trend inside of the previous day's low back into traders that were short and then get rid of this that's thursday's high at the beginning of thursday they break uh, wednesday's high before pulling back inside and breaking down our first red day this was an inside bar although we were right at the low of wednesday still basically an inside bar we had inside bar traders triggered long first red day on thursday the market Stay sideways before triggering Thursday's low, pulling back to the high of the day inside of the first red day, giving us a perfect sell high setup. Again, this is the levels, not the, the chart that I'm trading off of for a sell high setup back through the low of the day. And then this morning, we blow off, taking out the lows of the week before pulling back inside. Now, this market potentially may be offering us a sell high opportunity later. We're, we've triggered the low of the day. Now we're back inside. So I'm going to be looking for a high of the day setup. Now this market may not give us that. It may come back and stay inside and be a creeper. And we may get a similar scenario that we saw Thursday where we break Monday's high and this market could pull back inside. We have news on Wednesday. This could be a catalyst for a big explosive move down taking out volume from two weeks ago's news. So again, understanding the three-day setup, the high and the low of the day, if you're inside, then, then I'm waiting for the market to establish a high or a low and then trade back to that at the timings for a setup or it will continue to trend. So just because it's moving back inside does not mean that it's going to be a sell high setup. This is a great example of where the market just continued to move higher until the next day. We trigger the breakout traders before breaking back down inside, giving us our first red day. As I mentioned to one trader, these two trades, Tuesday and Friday night, are the only two trades that you needed for the whole week. They were explosive. They, they were huge. They were scalable. Um, and again, this is purely the levels. So when the session begins, I've got my level, my high and low level. And then I'm on my one minute chart. I'm looking at my numbers. I'm looking for the opportunities for the sell high, the buy low at the timing. So again, I emphasize understanding the timing rotation. New hour opens and goes straight to the high of the day. Seven minutes, first five minutes up, seven minutes in, we get an engulfment at 50 at the high of the day inside the first red day for an explosive 100 pip stop hunt to the, to the low of the London session. We have volume again, recognizing where volume is caught in the upper part of the box. They're keeping it up there. They hit the stops, they trap the first mouse, hit stops on the, sh on the uh, longs, hit the stops on the shorts, and then clean out the whole market before bringing it back up into 
that upper area, consolidating it, and then rolling the market over into the close, into where they wanted to move it from the beginning. So now we could look at the NASDAQ. It's the same, same scenario. Breakout trade, U.S. session, stop hunt back through inside. They, they, they stay inside the next day. They break out into the U.S. session. So consider this. I talk about who's in the money. And inevitably, these areas are where people have potentially gone short or gone long. Now, this market, if we, if we look at the daily, this market has been just screaming vertically. Just put a blank daily, even a weekly chart up here. We'll go weekly just so people can see, actually even monthly, the vertical nature of the NASDAQ. And so if you're shorting this market, you better be sure you've shorted, you're shorting this market on the right days. Uh, again, coming back, just looking at the opportunities, even when you're up high. So, you, you know, we can see where traders are being... You're buying higher and higher each time, but when the week starts, we have a high and a low. They bring it back inside. They break out, consolidate it, and continue to trend. So when this market has set up its high and low for the week, so we're up high right now at the high of the last week. We're st inside. They've triggered, just slightly triggered the high of last week. We're inside. We have no break in structure, but we are inside of the high and the low of Friday which means that I will wait until the market comes down and goes back to the high for a sell high setup or breaks down, comes down, maybe gives us a buy low setup heading into the U.S. session. I, I specifically look at the NASDAQ oil during the New York market times. But this, again, you don't need to, this indicator. You can draw the highs and lows on yourself. Understanding that when you're inside, now I know some people don't like this, when you're inside, you're caught in this consolidation. There are trades inside, especially on gold. Uh, it depends on the volatility of your instrument. If you're trading uh, the pound or one of the other pairs, great trade on the CAD yen, the three-day setup last week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, again, the breakout of the previous day's high. We had news. They blew it off. Traders followed that the second day looking for a follow-through. Nothing happened. They forget about it. We get the same setup the next day. They break the previous day's high. Right at the London session, they give us our M structure for a 100 pip move to the low of the week. So it's important that even after you see the large move, you can watch for these opportunities. And even intraday, there was still a nice, uh, that trade went from 59 down to the to the previous day's low. Uh, 25 pip stop hunt to the low of the day. So again, you want to be measuring what are your, risk reward opportunities but this this example of a follow through after the news two days later traders forget about it they see this oh you know, nothing's happening it's not going anywhere and then then they miss the opportunity the next day day one day two day three news catalyst trade bit of chop for a day and then the follow through back through the low of the week they trap volume trading to counter trend this strong move and then boom the explosive move back to the low of the week Master these setups. Master the setups that you resonate with that are the most simple. Master 25, 50 pips a day, whatever that is for you. Keep it simple. Look for the trades that, like Jim Rogers said, when the money's just laying over in the corner on the floor and you can go over and pick it up. I don't want to guess at stuff. I'm looking for where the weight of the market is going to explode fast and quick in my favor with very little stress. I want to be done and I want to walk away. 25 pips a day can make you extremely wealthy. And obviously we're going to have days with news catalysts. We're going to have um, trend days, consolidation days. Gold offers at least, at least one explosive 150 to 200 pip trade a week. Uh, easily one, a 100 pip move at minimum once a week. Um, are you going to get all those? No. But if you're following three or four markets and looking for the simple trade setups, high and low of the day, I'm looking for stuff where they've, you know, if they're inside, I'm going to let it tra trade over the course of the day and set up a larger structure to give me an easy trade. If the easy trade isn't there, I'm going to wait. I'm going to look at something else. But inevitably, 
there are scalps, there are small size scalp trades, and then there are the best trades that you want to learn to scale up in size, learn to identify when that opportunity is there because that's how you can really grow your trading account. So hopefully you got some value from today's video traders. The high and the low, high and low of the day, high and low of the previous day, high and low of the week, day one, day two, day three, let it set up. Use the calendar to your advantage. Look for the easy, low-hanging fruit. Have a great trading session. Start your week off strong, 1% better every single day, and may the markets go. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.